Hi, my name is Nicole Zarillo, and today I'm going to be telling you who my favorite literary fictional character is and why. The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky is like nothing else that I've ever read, and that's honestly because of Charlie. He's the main high school boy protagonist in the novel, and there exists a special kind of intimacy between him and the reader, because everything is written from his perspective in letter form and addressed to Dear Friend. This really personalizes the whole experience of the novel and really gives you an inside look into what Charlie's thinking and feeling at all times. It was as if we were friends or as if I was the person that he was writing to. Charlie's the epitome of socially awkward, and by the end of the book you find out it's because he's had kind of a rough past. His upbringing wasn't the best because his family issues run really, really deep, and this has ultimately resulted in him being mentally disturbed. He's a really honest kid and a keen observer of the world, but he voices his opinions at all the wrong times. This is kind of the best part about him, though, is he's an outcast, but he's a really, really good-hearted and relatable outcast. Charlie's good character remains constant throughout the novel, despite his horrible upbringing. His ability to put others before himself is one of the best qualities that Charlie has. Whether it's the love of his life, his sister, or his best friend, he's constantly putting his own emotional and physical health on the line to preserve the happiness of others. This kind of unique selflessness isn't something we find in most protagonists. So Charlie isn't a superhero or some character whose life magically works out for them in the end. And I like him because he's exactly the opposite. He's a symbol for what it means to be a real person with real issues. He has a mental illness, so in addition to his external struggles, he's always internally suffering. Ultimately, he's a hero because he isn't one. And essentially, he's real. And even though we may not have the same issues exactly that Charlie has, I think that by reading about him, we all learn a little bit about ourselves. Thank you.